For the body is not one member but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole body whole were hearing, where were the smelling? Now watch how he takes the natural anatomy of the human body and then taps into the spiritual body of Christ. So we got prayer warriors. We got people that fast. We've got people that have the desire on their heart to reach out to others and they, they see this brother and sister not coming to church. You know, they miss a service and then they miss another service and they, they miss another service. That's not just the deacon's responsibility and the pastor's responsibility. You know, you're your brothers and sisters, you should be mindful. Brother, I've been missing your church. Where are you? You understand that's one of the downsides of a larger church that people can miss church for several services and people don't even know if they're there or not there. Don't you understand? You need to look around and see who sits by you, see who sits near you and realize you, it's not just me. It's not just the deacons and the preachers. It's us loving one another, caring for one another. Oh, I know you think this ain't very deep this morning but I'm preaching to you a message that the bride will be into this state before the rapture takes place. That we love one another so much. Brother Ram said at his church that preachers would ask him, how do you get them people in such love with each other? And he said they would go to church on Sunday night and close out the Sunday night service and they'd stand around and weep and hold one another and say, I can't wait to see you again on Wednesday. They just cry, because they love one another so much. And he's different preachers, he said, but ask him, how do you do that? He said, just preach the Bible. Just preach the truth. Well, what's amazing is, he's telling the church, the same Branham Tabernacle several years after that, and letting them know they needed to move up to that. Now they've moved up to deeper teachings, But them teachings had all kinds of differences among them. So you know what they done? Spent more time arguing, fussing. For those of you who think the Branham Tabernacle was a perfect church, you're ignorant. I haven't had personal friends that were deacons and so on at that place. They had to deal with all types of issues. And you say, my goodness, why in the world would that be? Because the devil wants to come right there. The devil didn't, where did the devil show up in in the book of Genesis? He didn't show up in Hades. He showed up in the Garden of Eden. Come on, somebody. So we know that's exactly what he wants to do in your home. He wants to destroy the love between a husband and wife. He wants to destroy the love between a mother and her children, a father and a family unit. And our church is no stronger than the families who make it up. If we want a closer church, if we want a more godly church, a more holy church, we need families that are closer together. And we say, Lord God, help us that we'll never let anything come between us that will divide us. We will forgive one another. We will tolerate one another faults. Come on, somebody. Oh, yes, there's something about that. As the ministry of the body, we're going to church with people that aren't perfect. I was talking to a brother this week, and he was talking about people looking for a perfect church. I said, why in this world would anybody look for a perfect church? There is no such a thing. And if you ever found one and you went there, you'd ruin the whole program. But you've got preachers that are faulty. You've got people that are faulty. Church is like a hospital. It's like going to a doctor's office. Do you go to the doctor's office and everybody there is well? Everybody there is doing good? They're coughing, they're hacking, they're spitting. They've got everything in the world wrong with them. Why? That's where sick people go. Well, the church is the same way. We've got people with problems. We've got people with with issues. Oh, Brother Donnie, I'm going to wait till I get right, then I'll come. No, come on, come on, come on and get right.
right here. This is a good place to get right with God. 